Hello and welcome to our weekly airplane news update. Normally Greg Riverdio hosts this show, but he's temporarily missing in action and therefore I'm taking over for this week. Uh, my name is Haye Castelo and you might have seen me on the Pixel Drone show that Greg and I host together. Or maybe you know me from my news website, Drone XL. Either way, I'll be talking you through the news today. And also, by the way, don't worry about Greg. Uh, he was last spotted on the back of a yacht in the Mediterranean drinking champagne. So I'm sure he's quite okay. And he's expected to report back for duty in the office next week. With that, uh, let's jump into the news. This is the week of June 6, 2022. And here are the following three news stories that we have for you this week. Uh, first off, uh, Lilium and Levent partner on battery technology. Secondly, Crackfield in Selma, Alabama is the first one to get remote air traffic control. And lastly, JetBlue offers Spirit shareholders 350 million US dollars. Let's start with our first story, Lilium and Levent partner on battery technology. Lilium is an EV toll, uh, which is an electric vertical takeoff and landing manufacturer that has announced an R&D partnership with Levent Corporation. This partnership is to create high performance lithium battery cells specifically designed for aviation. And this collaboration is a milestone in Lilium's uh, commitment to revolutionize regional air travel, says Lilium Chief Operating Officer Yves Yemsi. Lilium announced several other partnerships, including one with Honeywell. Lilium says that its six-passenger eVTOL is aiming for speeds of up to 162 miles per hour and a range of 270 nautical miles. And that brings us to our second story for today. Crackfield gets the first remote air traffic control. The Selma Economic Development Authority has announced plans to set up a remote tower air traffic control center at Craig Field in Selma, Alabama. This project will be led by Advanced ATC and Indra Corp. The operation is the first of its kind and will allow controllers to perform all the functions of a traditional control tower from a different location through the extensive use of cameras, real-time video and other advances. Remote towers represent an important and innovative step in airspace modernization efforts in the US. And I'm excited to see Advanced ATC establish its pioneering operation at Crackfield, said Secretary of the Alabama Department of Commerce, Greg Kenfield. This virtual tower center represents another example of how our state is at the leading edge of trends shaping the future of aviation and aerospace for the United States. And that brings us to the final story for this week. Uh, JetBlue has offered 350 million US dollars in reverse breakup fees if a merger between Spirit and JetBlue fails. This is over 100 million dollars more than Frontier has offered. In a statement, Robert Hayes, chief executive of JetBlue, said, "Combining JetBlue and Spirit would create a true national competitor to the dominant legacy carriers, delivering low fares and a great experience for more customers." more opportunities and good paying jobs for crew members and more value for stockholders. The key features of our improved proposal, the upfront cash payment and increased reverse breakup fee reflect the seriousness of our commitment and underscore our confidence in completing this transaction. It's interesting to see the saga between these three carriers continue and we'll keep you up to date as to what happens next. That's all the news we have for this week. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel as it helps us out a great deal. And we'll be back with more aviation news next week. Same time, same channel. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.